All right, hey there. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my simple process for creating standard operating procedures, or otherwise known as SOPs. Now, I know I already lost about 90% of you just because I said the term SOP, but hear me out. Most people actually don't love doing the same routine activities over and over and over again. And I found that most companies actually want to scale their operation and even individuals who work solo desire to grow beyond themselves. So I find it really important that we take what's in our mind and we get it done on paper or on the computer. And what that allows us to do is potentially hand off that task to someone else. We could maybe even automate that task and after bed, we even take a vacation day. So I'm going to show you my simple process for creating standard operating procedures. I'm going to show you a tool that makes it really, really easy to create the SOP and then share it with someone else. And I have an example that I'll walk you through. So let's get started. For this example, we're going to say that we have a podcast and we want to create an SOP showing someone else on our team how to create a new podcast episode. So I have my podcast platform pulled up. And then the tool that we're going to use to create our SOP is called Scribe. Scribe is a wonderful tool that allows you to record something that you do on your computer, whether in the browser or out of your browser. And it's going to actually take note of the steps that you take in what you're doing. And it's going to provide a step-by-step -step guide as the output of your recording that you can then edit and share with someone else. I use this tool with clients to help train them on the systems and processes that we set up in the business. And I've used this to bring in team members and show them the right way to do a process and then they can follow the step-by-step -step guide. I remember when I first discovered Scribe, it took me seconds to sign up and create my first SOP. So it's super, super simple. So here I am inside of my own Scribe account. And to create a new SOP, I'm going to click this button up in the top right-hand corner that says New. And we're going to simply capture Scribe. You can do this in the browser by downloading the Chrome extension, or you can download the app if you're on a paid tier and you can record on your computer or on mobile. So I'm going to click Capture Scribe. You should be able to see this overlay that says that we can record a voice transcription. And what that will do is it will listen to your microphone and, and take into uh, account what you're saying while you're doing the task. It's important to note that it's not actually recording like a video or audio that you're going to have afterward. So don't overthink it. And then you can select the tab that you're using to that you're going to record in. So for me, I am going to go ahead and select transistor. And now it's capturing my browser. And now it's recording. So I'm going to do this a simple process of creating a new episode. So there's going to be a test episode. If I was to upload an audio file here, I would drag that onto this spot right here. Don't need to fill in anything here. And this is a normal episode. It'll be episode 31. Let's say I have episode artwork and upload that here. Copy and paste my show notes by the YouTube video URL. I'd put it there. Um, for this example, this is just pretty simple, right? Um, I'm not going to publish right now. Uh, I'm actually just going to save it as a draft. So there I've created my new episode in my podcast platform, for example. And then I can go over here and I can complete capture and show Scribe that we're done recording. And look at this. So it's already given this a title, how to create a new podcast episode. I might just edit this, say new podcast episode. I could add a description, you know, they have AI generated, or you can type one yourself. I've actually never used the AI generated. It looks very similar to what I might have written, maybe a little bit about shows the, the tool I'm using. And let's look at this. So it says navigate to dashboard, not transistor that. So this is the episode, the exact page where I click that button, new episode. Click the button, click the episode title field. 
So it has screenshots. You can actually go ahead and zoom out on this. You might not know where that is on the page. So love it. I'm going to type in, I'll say, type in the, type the name of your episode. I actually don't need that field. So I'll delete it. Click here. Insert your show notes. Click the drop down. Actually, that was a mistake, right? So I'll delete that. Save as a draft. Then we're all done. So done editing. We're going to click this share URL, copy the link, and then let's look at what it looks like in the window. How to create a new podcast episode. So this is a step-by-step -step guide that someone could, I could hand that URL. They don't need an account. They can just preview this URL and then they can take note. Scribe also has a really cool feature where you can pull this up and it'll actually overlay on top of the page. So someone can actually be on this URL right here and they can see like a, a step-by-step -step guide where they're actually creating the new episode. So hopefully that was helpful. I have found this tool measurably grateful for it uh, because my old process was to go into a Google Doc and kind of just verbally vomit or type out all of the step-by-step -step tasks. And I would take screenshots, I'd upload them, or you'd have to format it. And then you'd have to store all these in the Google folder. Scribe has made this just like, just such a piece of cake. So hopefully that helps you create systems and processes in your own business. What I like to do is just when I'm as I'm going, when I go to do a task, I'll just click on the Chrome extension, push record. Once I'm done doing the task, I'll remember to turn it off. And then I have the, the SOP ready for when I need it, rather than finding a need for the SOP and then having to go back and create the, the guide for it. So let me know if you found this helpful. If you use this tool, I would love to know maybe the first SOP that you create and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer in the comments. But that's it for now.